If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com. We're going to move on to our next speaker here. Uh, this is Vince. Vince Perfetto uh, works for the Free State Project, and his work that he does is one of those things where he does a lot of it, and it's behind the scenes, and you don't realize it, but you've all seen it. Uh, he, he has done amazing work towards getting people to move here. Uh, he's a real smart guy, and one, one fun fact about him is he used to live out here in New Hampshire, and he went and toured around the world for a while, and he saw all these other countries, all these other wonderful places, but he came back to us. He had the opportunity to go live anywhere else he wanted, and he decided this is where he wants to be because, well, uh, maybe he'll say why, but uh, I'm gonna hand the mic off to him, and uh, he has a little presentation for you, so let's give it up for Vince. Thank you, Stephen. So, uh, I suppose before I even say anything, the uh, unfortunate thing is, you know, really high tech stuff here at Chunky's, uh, they can't handle a presentation and a microphone at the same time. <laughs> I know. So, and here in just a minute, I guess Stephen's going to flip a switch and. Uh, It'll sound a little more like this. So, people in the back, you can hear me all right? All right, great. All right. Yeah. <laughs> You can flip it on. Where's uh, Andrew Minutes? Where'd you go? Yeah, I also have never worn a mask. So you can live life without a mask on. I have never put that blanking mask on, and they will probably have to put a bullet in my head before they put that thing on my face. All right? You don't have to wear it if you don't want to. All you do is just say medical exemption and the world goes back to normal. There's been multiple times where I've been out in public in private businesses and they say, do you have a mask? No. I have one here. No, thank you. Thank you for asking, though. But now you need to put one on. Medical exemption. Okay, how can I help you? <laughs> just do it. If you want to do it, just do it. I mean, if you don't want if you want to put it on, put it on. Just saying. Um, Thank you to all the organizations that uh, were a part of this, with Reopen, uh, NHLA. Um, thank you for all. Thank you to all of you for coming out tonight. It really means a lot. Um, you've helped us raise some uh, much-needed funds, and we really appreciate that. And you know, we've said this to you guys before, but the Free Safe Project, we we know how to maximize resources. And you know that I know a lot of you are donors. A lot of you are monthly donors. And when do you give us a dollar? We go. We stretch that as far as we possibly can. So I really appreciate your your funding, your contributions, and we always will. So I figured with my talk, I'll give you the uh, the classic state of the free state. Unlike a politician, I'm going to actually prove it. <laughs> so. In just a moment, we'll switch to the second slide, and this is going to be year-over-year year numbers, 2019 to 2020. So we did pretty well in 2020, but how well did we do? There are a lot of metrics that we cover. We have a giant spreadsheet, and we try and cover as many things as we possibly can and pay attention to the, the stuff that matters most. Well, when you look at year-over-year year numbers, how well did we do? Steven. So this is going to, oh, it's cutting, it's cutting the top of it off a little bit. I don't know if there's any way to shrink it, but. Woo! Wow. All right. Uh -huh. So when you compare 2019 to 2020, there's the first one. So movers up 73%. So last, last year was the number one year for movers right. in the history of the Free State Project. <laughs> So newsletter subscriptions will be like, you know, people going to our website and they say, yeah, tell me more. Okay, so these are new people coming into our, uh, our group, right, into our database, if you will. So newsletter subscriptions, uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that later on. So up 171%, so unique visitors to our website, up 60%. Total impressions on Twitter, so that would be like when we tweet something, you know, how many people see each one of them? 
up 568 percent. Yeah. Who, who does the Twitter account? <laughs> who, that's right. Jeremy Kaufman does the Twitter account. He's an amazing volunteer. The guy is just shredding it. Okay. Facebook reach would be like the people that see the posts. So like if you post something, how many people see it? Up 14%. So Facebook link clicks would be like if we put a link, put a link, we share a link, or if we share a meme with a link, you know, in the description. Okay, how many people click that? Up 83%. Engagement would be, you know, somebody, uh, you post something on Facebook, somebody likes it, comments on it, shares it. Uh, you know that button that says see more? Sometimes you have to click see more to see the full description. That's an engagement. Even if you just slow it down, you're going through your news feed and then Facebook knows that you just slowed down and you read the whole thing. Okay, that's an engagement. So up 21%. So these are some of the numbers year over year, 2019 to 2020, but are we slowing down? No. 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 No, and also, unlike a politician, I'll prove it to you. So now we're going to look at the same thing, but January to January. So comparing last January to last month, are we still doing well? So let's compare the exact same numbers here. Movers, I know it's only five to nine because nobody knows it was in January, right? But this is what I'm working with, right? So five to nine. <laughs> <laughs> Newsletter subscriptions still up 177%. Uh, unique visitors up 85%, total impressions up 1,281% from last year. So Facebook reach up 75%. And also unlike a politician, I am an honest person, Facebook link clicks down 34%. So that's my fault, I need to do better at that. Facebook engagement up 180%. So, we're doing as well as we can with what we have, and we really appreciate all the support. You know, these are some of the things, uh, like when it comes to the social media, you guys can help with that. Okay, if you, no matter what platform you're on, if you see us sharing something, engage with it. Okay, especially Facebook and Twitter. Those two platforms the more people engage, the more those algorithms start to understand, okay, people like this. People want to engage, so they're going to put it in front of more people. So even if all you do when you leave here tonight is do that, just engage with our stuff more, you are helping, okay? You can, just, you can help from your keyboard at home, from your phone, okay? So what can you expect from us in 2021? What else can you expect? Well, what did we promise you last year before we get to that? So one year ago at Liberty Forum, I made a few promises and I've kept a few of them. So let's check in. <laughs> so let's check in with uh, some of the things that I promised you. I told you about that we have maximized our, our AdWords account. This is a free grant that Google gives to nonprofits. It's ten thousand dollars a month in free advertising. So it was it was there. We were doing it, but we weren't doing it well enough. Up two hundred thirty nine percent, largely because of one guy. One of our volunteers, a high end guy. You probably know him, Hans Passion. Okay, one of the best guys you'll ever meet. He came in, and throughout the year, we dug out all of the bad stuff in the account and, and created uh, a really powerful account. Also with the help of one other guy, Dennis Pratt, who's a complete madman with content creation. Is it 1,800 posts on Quora? Yeah. yeah. 1,800 posts on Quora, many of which are about the Free State Project. So many people learn about the FSP through Quora, through Dennis's post. Well, I said, Dennis, give me Give me this post right here. Can you make this Quora post into a post on our blog? And then I gave him a little direction. And he, like the same day, he's like, okay, what, what do I need to do? I sent him one follow-up email. This is a true story. The next day, he's like done. <laughs> he's, he's so incredible. He's so generous with his time, with his money. He's, 
easily one of the best persons I've ever met. So, also he could have been very proud. So also because of Dennis Pratt with that blog post, that's part of this equation. It takes me a little while to explain it, but that's a big part of that. Um, oh, oh yeah, a little side note: we uh, we broke their their grant program. So you're only supposed to uh, not once but twice. You're only supposed to get ten grand. We have more than ten grand twice. Yeah. That's how well, yeah. That's how well we're at it. You're not supposed to get that. <laughs> but we but we're doing so well. That's what we did. So last year I promised you 3,000 new contacts and a couple of people laughed at my face, by the way. Well, who's laughing now? We got 5,260 last year. <laughs> the in New Hampshire numbers, we almost did it. So this would be like people who move, but also people who get into our movement who already live here. Uh, Launch the new and approved online store, done. Fundraising, okay, we did better, but not good enough. And I'll come for some of you this year. <laughs> but we're also going to expand things outside of this room. And that's what's been needing to be, needing to be uh, uh, we need to get that, that section of the libertarian movement a lot more of our attention when it comes to fundraising, okay? Write inspirational scripts, then develop and publish short, effective promotional videos. I told you I would do that, and, we, and I failed miserably at that. The only video that we put out was January 1st, so this is going to go back on the list. This is really important. There may or may not be a guy in this room who runs his own platform, video platform. <laughs> protocol. Yeah. Well, library is a protocol, but Odyssey is a platform, right? Yeah. Okay, both. Well, yeah, see, I got it. I don't totally get it. <laughs> um, okay, so this is what we were able to do last year. What are we going to do next year? 10,000. How about 10,000? Look, last year we got 5,000. How about 10,000 this year? <laughs> there it is. We talked about this. Uh, the, the board and I talked like, do we want to, what, what kind of mover numbers do we want to go with? Well, here it is. I'm putting it out there. 50% more. <laughs> last year was number one. We're doing 50% more than that. Great. A couple of you know, like, I, I don't, uh, I don't like to hit targets, I like to exceed them. <laughs> uh, when I was in sales and when I get the quota for the month, I'd be like, okay, that's the number I need to smash. <laughs> so that's the number we will smash this year. Implement creative strategies to increase awareness. This is really important. How many times have we you know, talked to people online and, we're, and they say like, oh, what's the, what's the free save project? That can't happen. We don't want that to happen. So we need to implement a lot of creative strategies to make sure that we are increasing awareness. Everyone who is an actual libertarian who believes in liberty, who wants more liberty, who's desperate to escape the tyranny that, they, that is in their life, they want more liberty, they need to know about us. So that's definitely, it's always been one of the top things the Free State Project has always done for almost 20 years, but it needs to go even higher on the, on the list. Fundraising, obviously, it's got to be back on the list, and that writing videos, you know, making videos is back on the list too. So if you if you or someone you know is really into video editing, especially, let us know. You can contact us. I mean, probably everyone in this room has the phone number and/or email of a board member or me or Chris Lopez, and even if you don't, our phone number and email is on the page, is on the website. Every single page in the website has our phone number and email. So you know how to contact us. DM Jeremy through Twitter. You can message us through Facebook. There are a bunch of different ways. So this is what I this is what I'm promising for next for, for this year. This is what this is my these are my goals. I think Jeremy mentioned this earlier, but this is this last year has demonstrated the need for the Free State Project now more than ever. And we need your help now more than ever. Keep going. Okay, we're not stopping. And I urge you to not stop either. When you're online, where if you're you know uh, talking with your friends, family, you know, former coworkers, whatever, in other states, 
If you know that they believe in liberty, bring them here. Bring them to our website. The website is designed to convince people. There are all kinds of pages all over the website that can help you. Some other things that we're up to that I didn't put there. What else is probably like one of the top stories in the last five years, one of the top trends is censorship. How are we preparing for that? We're already building alternative social media profiles. We're preparing for that moment. You know, there are a couple of people in this room that have been banned from social media. I know, right? Yeah, okay, there's a hand over there. I know, I know Carla. There's a hand in the back. Right, so they're, they're coming for more of us. And who knows, they might, you know, we don't do anything too controversial, but they might come for, for us someday too. And we're preparing for that moment. Another thing is, uh, another piece of good news, it's not on there. We networked, especially with one of our board members, help. We network to find more help for us. In a couple of weeks, we're going to have a paid intern working for us. The best part, we don't pay for them. <laughs> All right. So we found a separate organization that funded their salary. So after that 10-week program is over, we're going to go for another one. We're going to try for another one. We also have a few wild cards up our sleeves, and I hate to, you know, the, have you ever heard the term vague book? Okay, when you post something on Facebook and you're kind of too vague, uh, I usually don't like that, but of course, unfortunately, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'll vague, vague book you right now, but if we land a few of these wild cards this year, or at least even one of them, it's going to be pretty significant. And I can tell you that we're going to continue working for that. I'm going to end with two things. A, uh, I suppose setting an expectation and just a quick I want to I want to help inspire you the same way some other speakers have tonight and that is that there are a lot of people in our movement in general in this state and out of this state who often say somebody's got to do something I want you to flip that I want more of you to say, I'm going to do something. Okay? All of us, including me, I've said somebody's got to do something. Well, me and I encourage you to, next time that sort of phrase comes out of your mouth, try and flip it. I'm going to do the thing that I say somebody should do. We can't just dump all of our ideas onto Carla Garrick anymore. Okay? <laughs> She's only one person, and there are many many big time doers in this room and you know that okay i'm not taking anything away from those people like you know herschel and seamus and all the rest of you i'm simply trying to encourage some of you to think after when you leave here today to get into the habit of doing something rather than saying somebody should do something and the last thing i'm going to do is i'll set the expectation so obviously if you bought a ticket tonight We've got your email, right? You can expect in the next week or so to get uh, a fundraising request from me. Of course, I know some of you are not even going to open it because you're going to see it's from me. <laughs> I know what that is. Yeah. And some of you will open it, and of course, some of you will click the link, and you will generously give. And for those of you who do that, I really appreciate it. And I can tell you that, like I said at the beginning, the Free State Project, we know how to maximize resources. And you can be sure, I just showed you the numbers. We deliver. When you deliver to us, we deliver back to you, and back to our movement. And we're bringing more people here. I know some people didn't move here for the Free State Project, but if you wouldn't mind, raise your hand if you moved to New Hampshire because of the Free State Project. The more you help us, the more people like you we will bring here. Thank you so much for coming on to our celebratory fundraiser tonight, and I hope you have a great night. Don't forget to tip your weight stack. <laughs>
Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters.